We have spent the past two months searching for our little piece of paradise in Sicily, and after seeing over 50 properties, we have finally found the one. Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to You Live Everything and Wonder, and welcome back to Sicily. I'm Luca, this is Sara, and this beautiful baby girl is Luce. Today is the day, guys! As promised, we will show you our dream property, the property that we bought in Sicily. I don't know if you can see the orange gate behind Lucas. This is the first gate. Where we'll be entering our new property. <laughs> it seems so unreal to say that. So that's why we also bought this four wheel drive car so that we can drive down our property. Sorry for the noise, but uh, they are cleaning the road. Yes. The branches are growing. This is the main road, it's a small road but it's paved and then here starts, starts the unpaved road that will lead to our property and you can already spot uh, the view the first time we came here we walked to our property but now today we have the car we will stop at the second gate it is about 100 meters yeah down the road so let's go I'm super excited the reason of this gate is because uh, our neighbor has uh, sheep uh, and uh, goats uh, and they will be probably be here or they went here in the previous days. So we need to close it after we enter. We came here the first time about one month ago, one month and a half ago, before we left Sicily, together with Giuseppe. Giuseppe, I don't know if you watched our previous episodes about the Sicily property hunting. Uh, we met Giuseppe because he was selling one of his properties and we just fell in love with this area. We are in northern Sicily, we are between Cefalù and Capodorlando and it's beautiful because here the sea view is something different, it's incredible. This road is called Servitù di Passaggio. It means that you, if you own a property, a land, after this, you have the right to go and to drive. This one is the second gate. Uh, here is where our property starts. Uh, the unpaved road uh, that we took to come here, we will be working on it and uh, probably redoing this road uh, in the future. Will be one of the projects. Yes, uh, of course, uh, the four wheel drive uh, is uh, a must uh, for when it's raining, uh, when it gets uh, wet, uh, you need a four wheel drive, but when it's dry like this, also with a normal two wheel drive car is accessible. So now let's open the gate, yes. let's drive with the car inside our property. So we'll have to clean a lot here because when we saw the property the first time, everything was pretty clean. It was like a season when it rained so much in Sicily that now the, the grass is overgrown. This property has been abandoned for over 20 years, 30 years. We don't know exactly. Yeah, we don't know, but uh, we will take care of this property yes. from now on. A lot of love. We bought an olive grove. 
with a tiny, a small stone house, ancient stone house. It is about 15,000 square meters, 1.5 hectares, four acres, and it checks all the boxes. So first of all, we wanted an impressive, spectacular sea view. Which uh, you can uh, <laughs> see over there. The yeah. islands. Uh. The other islands. Today is a little bit cloudy. Probably you cannot see them very good, but it's spectacular and it's accessible. So as you saw, the road is pretty good. It's pretty in good condition. We have olive trees. We have uh, about 100 uh, olive trees. Uh, we want to ask a specialist uh, about the age uh, of these trees because some of them, they look really, really old. Uh, over 300 years old and other ones uh, they look uh, a little bit younger so we want to know everything about this property this will be a long time project uh, we don't have to do everything straight away the land is big enough but it's not ginormous so it's a good size and what we really love is in some part it's really flat some properties that we have seen were impossible to, to, to walk or even for Lucia to have a place where she can play. Here we can build an amazing playground for her in different parts of the property. So we have so many possibilities, so many dreams. White canvas where you can just do whatever you like. And having so many possibilities is amazing. I cannot believe that this is ours, Amore. Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> It was a long process, but it was worth it. We have many fruit trees that we will show you now with the tour. We have fig trees, we have pears, we have prickly pears, we have apricots, we have mulberry. Luca, who loves to plant, will be planting mango trees, avocado trees. The climate here, the weather here is perfect for exotic fruit. Yes, Amor, I'm coming. Look at the size of this pear getting big beautiful and considering that it was abandoned uh, they are still really good we need to productive yes yeah we need to clean and uh, make these trees uh, nice and beautiful they will yeah do you want to pair grow even more luce amore a flower for you. a flower for luce now let me show you guys some Olives. This year the weather was really bad, it was raining, it was windy and ah, here is some wild fennel and so probably this year will not be so productive in terms of olives but yes guys we will produce in our own extra virgin olive oil starting from this year like straight away. Guarda le olive Luce Guarda. Some olives over here. And these olive trees, they need some love. They need some care. We have to cut them. When, Amore, we have to cut them? After, after we harvest the olives. Uh, yeah. So from uh, October till December, after we harvest the, the olives, we can start uh, trimming uh, the, the branches and doing all the, the cuts that needs to be done. Here is okay. where the property ends. Uh, you can almost touch the, the sea. Yes. It's beautiful, I love it. What I is the, the altitude like? We are... 250 uh, meters above sea level. Okay. And about 250 meters uh, to the sea. Okay, how long does it minutes. take to, to reach the sea? It takes uh, eight minutes driving. Luce, do you want to, to, to walk a little bit? Is that a good idea? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's walk a little bit here. It's very flat, it's beautiful. Are you ready to walk, Luce?
you like the uh, sea? The view of the sea? Where is the sun? Where is the sun, Luce? Where is the sun? It's the sea. The rock? Yes. The rock. And through the property we can also find some stone walls. So we will need to clean them and see, I don't know, they are quite cover, but we want to see them. So cleaning the property and walking through the property and working on the property we will be able to find and discover so many things and on this side of the property going all up here up there here is where we have a stream when it rains uh, during the rainy season so we will try to collect uh, also water from the stream wow. everywhere you look this property is enchanting it's so beautiful the olive trees they have this power it's it's incredible guys this is the place as soon as we walk on this property we felt an incredible energy an incredible good vibe and we say this is this is our place we have been talking with many farmers uh, here in the surrounding area and uh, all of them uh, they told us that this uh, soil on this land uh, is really really rich is really good uh, this property wasn't uh, officially for sale meaning that it wasn't on the market uh, with any agency so when we came here and we met uh, Giuseppe uh, we saw his property he was selling we explained him uh, what we were looking for and uh, what kind of property we we dreamed of and uh, he started asking to the neighbors uh, to people he knew long story short uh, he introduced us to the owners of this property and uh, then we have been able to make an offer and uh, finally we have been able to purchase this property. Yeah, we already went for the deed, we signed the deed, we, we did everything. So we are the official owners of this land and of the little stone house that we will show you. You have seen the key in the previous episode. It was a big, big, huge key, but the house is very tiny. We have been focusing a lot on the land on the view and on the services. We don't have only olive trees, as we mentioned before, we have also some fruit trees and this is a beautiful fig tree. We have, I think, a couple of them on the property, probably three. And they are growing, guys. Look at these beauties. And it's full, the tree is full of them. And here we have a part of the land that is very flat. This would be a perfect spot for a pool one day. A swimming pool and also it would have a, a beautiful view. And here we have different varieties of oranges. We have the Arance Moro, they are the blood oranges. They are so red, that's why they are called blood oranges because inside the pulp is seems like blood. And we have also some lemons and clementines and arance tarocco, tarocco oranges. This is a medlar tree. We have three or four of them. When we came here, the first time was full of medlars and Lucha loves them. This is one of my favorite trees on the property. But as you see, there is some vischio that we have to remove when we cut the tree. This is a parasite plant that you have to remove because we'll suck all the energy and all the vitals from the olive trees. No roads, no houses, no noise. Incredible. This one is a white mulberry. They used to do uh, granita 
with the fruit it's similar to a blackberry but it's white and it's super sweet it's delicious you can make jam you can make gelato granita and some juice fresh juice Come fa la mucca, amore, the cow? Come fa la mucca? Come fa? The cow, Luce, the cow. And the cat? And the cat? Luce, call the cat. Chiama il gatto. Uh -huh. yeah. Chiama il gatto, come chiama il gatto? Just want to lay down here and enjoy the the sound of nature, the birds, uh, the crickets. Oh, it's a cat. It's a white cat. Call, call her. But now it's time to reveal our little tiny stone house. Like the key is pretty big. Let's show them the key. And the house it's this one it's pretty small <laughs> pretty small but it's beautiful because it's all made of stones uh, it's really really old uh, and uh, i think it's beautiful i love it uh. the first time we saw the property we put our feet on this property was on the 11th of may so 11 5 and you know that if you know yeah. us you know that 11 is my favorite number five is lucas favorite number and we our wedding was on the 5th of november and yes. this property we saw the, the property on the 11th of may so it's a sign it's good <laughs> yes what is very cool about this stone house this barn this tiny house call it like you like is that it's it's not a ruin the roof is still there now we will enter inside uh, this pitch of the roof and this gutter collects the water that goes inside this uh, huge tank we don't know how big it is uh, still we will need to empty to see how big it is uh, but it only fills up with this half of the roof so we can also use the other half and put a bigger tank on the other side and collect also that amount of water the house is about five meters uh, uh, and six meters uh, so 30, 30 square meters? About 30 square meters. Uh, here is where you can access the water tank. Of course, we will need to change and make everything safe. Uh, yeah, for Luce. For Luce, safe. but uh, as you can see down there, there is the water. I don't know if you can see it, but no, probably it's not. been raining so much that it's full. Full of water. What is really nice about this land, this property, that is big enough that we will be able to build another 150 square meters of house, not counting the veranda and the porches and right. It's, yeah, and not counting uh, what is already on the property. So this exactly. uh, this house is is plus. Uh, we will be renovating this house first, and then we will be thinking probably in the future to add other houses and other construction other buildings we don't know but for the moment like the outside is perfect we love that it's in stone we have already a little window yeah there is only one window this and the window door. it's facing exactly where the sunset uh, is uh, we have uh, north uh, just behind of me south uh, facing uh, the opposite side uh, and we have the sunrise on that side uh, and the sunset on the other side uh, over there this property has a really good exposure to the sun uh, and uh, the view I, I I'm always speechless when I uh, when uh, when I come here and I see all this blue blue and uh, shades of blue we cried the first time here together now it's time to enter and to show you inside the tiny house okay it's time to open it yeah let's open it welcome inside 
our <laughs> little house, uh, tiny house, uh, but I, I think it's beautiful. So the owners, uh, they still need to come here and get some stuff. Uh, they want to take away the chainsaw and some of the things they will use on other properties. Uh, but they already told us that they will be leaving the nets. Uh, these are the nets that you use to collect the uh, olives uh, from the trees. Uh, and uh, hopefully they will leave us uh, many things that we will use. Uh, everything we need, uh, we will need to purchase uh, new. And uh, it's a new uh, adventure, it's a new experience. Uh, we never done this before, but uh, we are so happy and uh, willing to study and to learn and to to do it for the first time collecting olives and making our own extra virgin olive oil you can see that they probably use this area to cook or make a fire or something because it's With a all stove or yes uh, it's all black so probably they had a stove going out from the where little... all then you know? yes we have the window over there yeah i don't want to touch too many things uh, because we don't know yet what they want to bring away and yeah, leave yeah, yeah. so i don't know but as they soon come next week as soon they will come then i will empty sarah and i we will take everything out uh, to see how yeah. the situation what uh, we need to throw away what we need to <laughs> keep <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry guys it was <laughs> i thought it was a snake <laughs> <laughs> it was a mouse this is a campagna and it's a rural the countryside. House. There are animals. There are insects. It's 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 okay. Probably we have to redo the roof also. We will have to rebuild this. Not rebuild, but renovate. Renovate it. this inside. Outside, I love how it is outside. Yes. And we will try to keep everything as close as possible to the original, original one because we don't want to change too much. Yeah, we want to keep the history of this house inside here is very the temperature is very good like there yes. is only one window also for this reason because during summer in Sicily is very 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 hot now we are just at the beginning of summer and the temperatures are not so extreme yet but they will be this will be our first project on the property together with the cleaning on of the land and the harvesting of the olives uh, yeah and, uh, but first like before the harvesting we have to clean under the trees uh, in order to put uh, the nets under the olive trees uh, everything needs to be clean uh, under the trees uh, so you can see also over here so we need to clean uh, under every tree everything needs to be cleaned uh, and uh, we will start doing that uh, as soon as possible look at this these beautiful olives. The cultivar of these olive trees is Santa Gatese. So with these olives you can produce a, an excellent extra virgin olive oil but you can also eat the olives. If we will not be able to collect uh, all the olives uh, uh, in uh, October, November and beginning of December they will not be green anymore, they will start uh, to get brown or black uh, and uh, with those olives uh, we, we we cannot make uh, extra virgin olive oil so with those uh, olives uh, we can uh, uh, either put them in salamoya mm -hmm. meaning uh, salt uh, and, and water, water. otherwise uh, we can make them uh, cooked in the oven yes. there are several ways uh, you can prepare olives to be uh, consumed uh, they could be eaten there is something emotional about uh, the history of um, the, how the family bought uh, this uh, piece of land uh, and this little house. Uh, so basically they went to America, to North America to work uh, and uh, save money and then they came back uh, and they were able with the money that they made uh, in North America to buy this, uh, this property. So it's really emotional to think that uh, in some way we also went to North America to America and uh, after we came here and we bought this property it's all connected uh, in some way the current owners of this property they are elderly people 
so they don't have the strength anymore to come here and to take care of the land because it's pretty big for them and it will be pretty big for us too regarding the olive trees because 100 olive trees just the two of us will be a huge project probably we need some a team a crew people that will help us especially during september october november december this is the harvesting season for the olives so let's see this year how it goes because the plants they are big they are too big they are not you know well maintained they are not you overgrown uh, yes so we will see we'll start this year and see how it goes so we will learn also and giuseppe uh, our friend giuseppe he will help us to go through all the process and he will teach us how to do it because as luca said before this is everything new for us it's a new job will be a new job will be a new experience will be a new everything adventure yes and it's we are so, so nice. yeah we are so happy to start learning something new this place has so much potential of course we have to start from zero because we have no tools we have no experience with time with patience with love with the help of some locals we can do we can transform this place start producing our green own gold We come back at sunset because we wanted to show you the different atmosphere, the light, how magical it is, this property. And now we have a beautiful view also on the Olean Island. They are visible, very visible. And guys, if you have any suggestions uh, for a name for this property, let us know in the comments. Uh, what do you think about... Uh... Yeah, we have to name everything, as yes. you may know, so we need to find a perfect name for this, for this land, for this property. I want to show you, basically, this was for the donkeys. They didn't have vehicles like we have, uh, four-wheel drive. They have uh, horses or donkeys coming up here. Mules. And also at this time of the day, it's so quiet, uh, peaceful. Wow. We are falling in love uh, with this place every day more, more and more. This is our first sunset on the property. Yes. And I think this is the first time we can see and we can spot the islands so well, yeah. so clear. I like the color of the stone. And the sunset yes. is even different, the color it's of pink. this. Yes, beautiful. Here we Luca, we have to. We need to cut this plant here because it's quite annoying. Yes, this one. Uh, it's full of them. Spiky. Yes, it's. Every time you walk, you just hurt yourself. So yeah. we will have to buy a lot of tools and things to keep this property in a perfect shape but um, i mean it's part of the of the fun uh, you know taking care and uh, changing uh, things and making things better and this is the beautiful sunset uh, and is also one of the reasons uh, why this property is so magic for us and here is where we let you go beautiful people 
We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. If you're wondering where is Luce, she fell asleep in the car, so she's in the car sleeping. Yeah, I think the sound uh, of the waves, uh, the silence, uh, nature, it's so relaxing up yeah. here, guys. Uh, beautiful it's so special it's it our is. dream property and we are so happy guys this is one little step for the rebirth and one little step of the healing of the healing and we have so much enthusiasm and we would like to put a lot of love and effort in this into this property yes and we hope in the future to make this place a place where other people also can come and visit us and stay with us and and enjoy all of this yes because uh, as we already said uh, you don't own anything in this life everything is borrowed uh, so yeah. someone else uh, after us uh, will enjoy this place uh, and hopefully not, not as much only after us yes. together with us also together with us yeah we love you we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us and stay with us we will see you next Sunday and remember la vita è bella. Life is beautiful and love always wins. L'amore vince sempre. Beautiful sunset. Wow. Accelera, accelera, accelera col piede. Golden, golden thing.